Hi, I'm Chris, the SAT expert at Magoosh. And for over 15 years, I've been helping students ace the SAT. And today, we're gonna to talk about the work rate formula. So what's cool about the work rate formula is it deals with a question type that if you didn't know the formula, you'd be pretty much stuck and have no idea what to do. And that's why this formula is so great. It's really simple and it unlocks a tough kind of question type. And so I'm gonna teach you a formula called the FAF formula for flip, add, and then flip. And this is gonna make everything so much easier. So here it is, that setup I was talking about. Machine A takes four hours to finish the job and machine B takes three hours to finish the job. Working together, how long does it take them to finish the job? So I know I am dealing with work rate because we have the rates here, the number of hours, four hours and three hours, and we also have this word here, working together. So we can see we're combining those rates. Now you can't just add these together and say, oh, four hours plus three hours, that would take them seven hours to finish the job together because they are actually working together. So they're gonna do the job faster than they would just working alone. Would you take the average of it? Well, no, you wouldn't add four plus three and divide by two because even that is a little bit slower, that would be 3.5, and that would be a little bit slower than the three hours that one takes to finish the job by themselves. And again, we know that if they're working together, they do it faster. So if we just sit here all day thinking about this intuitively, it's gonna be really hard. And you obviously don't have time on the test. And that's why I'm gonna show you a simple technique to deal with these kind of questions. And it is called the FAF method for flip, add, and flip. Let's see how this actually plays out because you might be wondering, oh, what do you mean by flip? <laughs> so let's check it out. Take the first rate here, which we see, which is four hours. Now you can think of that as just the number four. And when I say flip it over, what I mean is the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of four is one fourth. Okay, next step. You wanna add the one fourth plus the one third. You might be thinking, whoa, wait a second, where did you get one third from? Well, the idea is we wanna add up the reciprocals of both their rates. And so four hours corresponds here to the one fourth for the first machine. And for machine B, we wanna flip and do the same thing so that we get one over three. That is, we flip three and get the reciprocal, which is one third. At that point, once I've done that with both rates, then I can add them up together. And then this gives me seven over 12. I know, that was super fast. How did I do that? Cool method, you might not have learned this in school, but if you have two fractions and you're adding them up together and both of them have one in the numerator, all you need to do is take the denominator, both numbers in the denominator, in this case four and three, and add those together. Four plus three is seven. And then put that in the numerator, put a line as I did here, and then for the denominator, just do four times three, which is 12. 7 over 12. That's a little sideshow here though because we're focusing on the FAF method and now we need to go to the final step which is to flip. So just a second ago I added up 7 over 12. What do I do? I take the reciprocal of that and that's why we have the double flip there. First flip here, second flip there. So 7 over 12, the reciprocal of that is 12 sevenths which is 1 hour and 5 sevenths or 1 5 sevenths of an hour or just 12 sevenths an hour. If this were a multiple choice test, they would probably leave it in this form and that would be the answer. Okay, so now that we've seen that, that we take both rates, we flip them, and then we add the reciprocals here, second step, and once we've added the reciprocals, we flip again to get the answer. So let's try that out here in the next slide. This one has Deborah, and if you wanna be bold and try it at home by yourself, pause, see what answer you get, and watch and wait to see what answer I get. Hopefully they match up. Okay, if you did pause and try this at home, or if you didn't, doesn't matter, because I am heading on now. So here we go. Deborah takes 2.5 hours to paint a fence. Her friend Molly takes two hours. How long will it take them to paint the fence if they work together continuously? There it is. again, it is the work rate. We're both doing it. We need to combine it. We need to flip, right? Faf. So what's the first thing we do? Well, we take the first rate, which is 2.5 hours. And you might say, oh, I get it, this is great, one over 2.5, and then you're gonna be, ah, what happened here, you're stuck. Well, that's it can easily happen, and the test writers know that, and that's why they try to throw students off by putting decimals in there. But you should know that 2.5 is the same as two and a half. You should also know that two and a half can be written as five over two. And that's great because what is the reciprocal of five over two? Well, we could flip that very easily and get two fifths. 
Then we add that to, what's the next one? Molly. Molly takes two hours. The reciprocal of two is one half. So a lot easier. We do the math here. We find out that two over a fifth is the same as four tenths. So I'll write that down. And one half is the same as five tenths. And look at that. Just like that, we get to the answer, which is nine tenths. Or is it? And that's the tricky part. It's the fa method, not the fa method. We always have to make sure to flip the final result here when we add them together. So you flip 9 over 10 over and you get 10 over 9. So the answer is not less than 1 hour, which you might have fallen for, but it is between 1 and 1.5 hours because 10 over 9 is slightly more than 1. And there we have it. That is the answer here. Okay, we're going to try one more. And just as this one was a little bit harder than the first one, this last one's going to be even harder. So if you didn't get this, I would still encourage you to try this at home. Of course, if you did answer the question with Deborah and her friend painting the fence, then definitely try this. Pause the video, and then you can have a look. Okay, unpause the video, and here we go. A pump working at a continuous rate can empty a full pool in nine hours. A second pump working at a continuous rate can completely fill an empty pool in six hours. Okay, let's stop there. That already is quite a headache. My head is spinning. What's happening? And that's fine. You could reread it again slowly. Digest each part. Notice that the first pump is defined in terms of how it empties a pool. So it's actually sucking water out of the pool. And it takes nine hours to do so. The second pump is filling the pool. So it's adding water. So you're having this counter effect here. So what do we do there? Let's, let's stop there. We have nine hours on the first one. We can take the reciprocal there. We know our FAF. That's one ninth with the emptying of the pool. And then with the filling of the pool, we can get one over six. Again, I'm taking the reciprocal of six hours. Now I'm gonna write it there next to it. Now my question is, are we adding these rates together? Because the FAF is flip, add, and flip. And that is most of the time the problems you will get. And so if you did this and you would think, hey, I don't think FAF really works, in a way you're right. We have to change it to f -f 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 or <laughs> flip, subtract, flip, but that doesn't really roll off the tongue, obviously. But the point here is the concept is the same, though. Instead of adding these numbers, we are going to subtract them. Why? Because, again, one of the pumps is filling up the pool. The other one is working against it by emptying the pool, and that's why we're subtracting them. And so we have 1 6 minus 1 9th because the one filling that, that's, that's going to give us the water, is the first one, order 1 over 6. And the one emptying the pool or taking water away, that's why we're subtracting it, is 1 over 9. And so we use this method, now we're subtracting, we get 3 over 18 minus 2 over 18 on this side, and that gives us 1 over 18. And that's great. Well, what is 1 over 18 then? 1 over 18 is how much the pool fills in one hour. But what's the final step now? Now we go back to the FAF part, you flip it over and you can see that, okay, in this setup, it would take 18 hours to fill. Again, a long time, but you have one pump that's sucking water out by, while the other one is filling the pool up with water. So that's 18 hours worth. So is that our answer? D, it's screaming at me. Well, we never did read the end of the question, which is, if a pool is half filled with water, how long would it take the pool to fill completely? Now, what was that part that I just read? That important part, it is already half filled with water. So you don't need to have all 18 hours there. You can see it's already half filled up, so you're only going to need nine hours worth. Because in nine hours, the setup here with these two pumps, in nine hours, they fill up half the pool. And so therefore, C is our answer. If you like this video, then click on the link in the description below. That will take you to sat.magoosh.com, where you can join thousands of other students who are prepping for the SAT. If you want more helpful tips and strategies, then check out the videos on the left. And I will see you next time.